Hey guys, thought we'd get the drone up today and kind of show you the fleet. Uh, shrimp boats have been tied up now. The shrimp season here is over. And uh, now is the time that these guys will start looking at uh, maintenance issues that they need to address for the upcoming season, whether it's nets, uh, tuning on engines, or you know, just, just anything in general. Uh, we've, we know the story of Captain Johnny and the Door F trying to get that boat back ready. We've been following that, and we're going to show you some more of that today. Uh, we introduced you yesterday to the Lady Jane, which is up on the railway in Brunswick. They are still working on the painting of the bottom of that vessel. But they're making good progress. They're hoping to get this boat back off the railway tomorrow. Now, we're expecting rain here locally. It's something that I'd love to show you guys, but that's all going to be depending on weather and timing if we can get back over to the docks to see the Lady Jane go back in the water. This is a great field trip if you're ever in the Brunswick area and want to go experience what shrimping is like. You can do that aboard this vessel, and you'll have a great time. I've done it. I love it. It's a, it's a really a lot of fun. Now the old Lady Jane started out as a trawler. It was a shrimp trawler and then was converted uh, into the uh, setup that you see now, pulling the smaller net off the stern of the boat. And the way of the setup, they have a big table, big sorting table on the stern and they're able to uh, let guests get up and personal, get really close in there and actually handle some of this sea life that the, the net catches. Uh, it's, it's one of those things that if you've never experienced it, you won't forget it. And it's worth, uh, worth a trip to come out and take a look at it. Fun time. Now, part of the time while we were up today, we just kind of checked out some of the boats, took a look at them here, some under various states of repair. Uh, there's the old door F on the inside of the Lady Raven. We're going to kind of fly around and just kind of take a look at them. And there to the right, you can see the little Lloyd. And the little Lloyd had its issues, but... Uh, they seem to be resolved. Everybody seems to be happy with the repairs that were made to the Little Lloyd. Now, the boat here on the outside, this is a Joanne B. We did a shark video of this boat pulling up its nets some time ago. Um, we're going to put a link up for that. Take a look at that. But the door F is still here, tied up to the inside. So let's fly over and let's see what's going on with Captain Johnny. He looks like he's in a rush today. I'm not sure what's going on. He's heading right down to the engine room. What do you say? Let's go down and check it out. Oh, here he is. This wall or bulkhead uh, that separated the engine room from the hit that wheel fish wheel? hold. Uh, is, he's replacing the beams. He had to move all this to slide the old engine out and get the new engine slid back in. So he's, now he's in the process of replacing the support beams and uh, get that closed back off. So we kind of get some separation from the engine room. He's making headway on that. This guy does not quit. Now, Captain Johnny has been working on this and a lot of additional expenses. And a GoFundMe page was established for him. Not by him, but by some other local people. And uh, we're going to put that link back up here. So if you want to kick a few bucks his way, I'm sure that he's not going to turn them down. 
this has really been an expensive process for him. But we're going to leave the operation here and fly home. Uh, that's all we got for today. Thanks for watching. As always, we'll ask you to leave us some comments. Hit that thumbs up. Most of all, you guys stay safe out there.